Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Welcome to the Look of the Week episode 40, where I show you where to get the best wallpapers, icons, docs, themes for your Mac. And of course, wallpapers and icons are also available for other operating systems. Let's get right into the, into the wallpapers, shall we? The first wallpaper I have is called In Nature Number Two, and it's by Xhoop. Comes for the 27 inch iMac. Pretty cool photograph, pretty nice uh, you know, colors and stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Next up, we got Stone Evening by Solutional, which I think is a pretty cool name. Uh, does not come for the 27 inch iMac, but it's still a pretty nice, uh, you know, photograph in my opinion. Comes for practically other, any other, um, widescreen resolutions under that, so up to 1080p. Next up, we got Rudolph Flies Solo by the AL, um, and uh, it's pretty cool, uh, manipulated photograph. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, does not again come for the 27 inch iMac, but does not come, does come for a 1080p or full HD or whatever you want to call that resolution. So pretty cool uh, photograph or wallpaper from him. Next up we got Field Road by Natsumi Kai Y. Not sure how to pronounce that. So sorry if I don't know, uh, sorry if I don't pronounce that properly. Uh, but I thought it was a pretty cool photograph. Uh, again, comes to full HD resolutions. Pretty cool. Uh, also comes for the iPhone and iPad 2 and 1, not the iPad 3 since that has a really, really high resolution. Um, really looking forward to that new iPad 3, so I don't know about you guys. But uh, also comes for the Samsung Tab, by the way, if you're using that kind of thing. Uh, next up, we got a, a very simple, minimalistic looking Apple wallpaper. It comes for the 27 inch iMac, and uh, it's, it's pretty much the Apple logo with a thing different under it, and it's pretty pretty cool texture behind it so for all you guys that like Apple wallpapers you might want to check this out it's by Shab Shabby I think it's pronounced yep uh, next up we got the frozen cherry by Arvin GFM it does come for the 27 inch iMac and uh, you know I just think it's really really nice colors and stuff uh, I know it's not winter anymore but still I thought I'd, I'll put this in and uh, next up we got cosmos reflection again by Arvin GFM and this is quite an amazing wallpaper like it's really really amazing in my opinion uh the colors and this is like pretty amazing and of course it's some kind of photo manipulation and uh, it looks pretty cool so definitely you go check this one out it's again by arvin uh gfm uh last but not least for the wallpapers oh no sorry this is not the last one uh, but uh, this is one i've used uh in quite a few of my videos actually it's called the uh, cambonia i think it is wallpaper pack comes for tons of different resolutions uh pretty pretty cool a wallpaper kind of galaxy ish but a very colorful and stuff so i really like it and uh, you know does a nice change from the default uh, apple wallpapers that you get with your mac which are also kind of in that same theme that's pretty cool cambonia wallpaper pack by glossy glossia i'm not sure but it's pretty nice next up we got uh, morning grass and uh, this one is not exactly on DeviantArt and stuff. It's not the usual web page where you downloaded it from. Uh, but if I'm correct, it's Michel, M Michel Bile or something like that. Not sure, but uh, it's a pretty nice wallpaper in my opinion. I, I still thought I'd put this one in. It does come for the 27 inch iMac as well. Uh, last but not least, for the wallpapers at least, there's a pretty cool uh, wallpaper pack uh, back on wallpaper art.org that has been released quite recently it's uh, bring back nature number eight and uh, these are all pretty cool uh, wallpapers related to the nature theme and there's definitely some cool ones for example this one which uh, is the one I'm using uh, right now as you can see so pretty cool uh, photographs now most of these uh, do not come for the 20 inch iMac they're mainly 1080p but some of these do such as this one for example or or this one at the bottom so pretty cool wallpapers, be sure to check this one out, and of course the link will be in the description. Next up we got the icons. So the first icon I have for you guys is uh, called App Keyboard Icons. Uh, it's not really an original name, but uh, they're definitely really, really cool icons, very good looking uh, icons. I think it's a total of 84 icons or something like that, and you also have the PSD file with it, so you can make one yourself if you want uh, to do that. Comes for tons of different social network applications and uh, some other uh, cool applications. Uh, on your Mac, for example, that uh, you can use these for. Uh, comes in the highest icon resolution, 512 by 512. It's uh, pretty nice icons, in my opinion, pretty cool icon pack. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention the name. It's by T-I-T-O or Tito or T-I-T-0. I'm not sure, but uh, it's something like that. Pretty cool uh, icons. Next up, we have the Lightroom 3 replacement icon. Now, um, I just actually noticed that Lightroom 4 came out, but you can still use it for Lightroom 4, of course. Uh, but 
all these uh, things I select for the look of the weeks. I sometimes I select it very, I select them very, very much beforehand before the actual video. Uh, so I might have choos chosen this one like three months ago. Uh, so you know, that's why something uh, sometimes certain things might seem a little outdated. But I still thought I'd keep it in because it still looks really good, and you can use it for, of course, any application you want. So it doesn't have to be for Lightroom three. Pretty cool. Uh, Lightroom three. I can buy a Rahel. A Rahel. Not sure. And next up, we got Smiley Face. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure why it's called like that, but it's a Safari replacement icon, and you can uh, just download it. And uh, of course. Uh, for Safari, and it's by Baby Snoop zero three. Uh, next up, we got uh, a dock, three D dark gray dock, uh, pretty cool name, <laughs> and it's by Tom Simpson TS or Sub GFX, and uh, pretty cool dock if you like kind of the dark style, especially if the with the dark menu bar. I've made a video about that by the way. I had to get a dark menu bar on Mac OS ten line. You might want to check that out. Definitely fits with that, and if you just like it, general dark themed stuff you can of course uh, check this one out so pretty cool doc by him next up we got a bow tie theme called massive massive vanille and it's by draco american asfusco not sure exactly where the spaces are in his name uh, but pretty cool uh, bow tie theme uh, be sure to check that out if you don't know what bow tie is by the way it's a little application you can install it's free i think if you download it from their website, but if you download it from the App Store, I think it does cost money. I'm not sure about that, but uh, they've definitely changed something. Uh, but when you play uh, music uh, through iTunes on your computer, it automatically puts it in your on your desktop. There's a little floating icon, and it sh shows like the song that it's playing, and you can press on play, pause, and stuff, and it looks pretty cool. So you might want to check that out. Bow tie, it's a pretty cool application. Last but not least, uh, we have Bubblegum Skype chat style. If you use Skype, I know a lot of you do use Skype, so you can, uh, if you have Skype 5 or higher, you can uh, download uh, this theme. Just double click the font, it's automatically going to install the theme. And next up, you uh, go into Skype, you go into the preferences, and then the chat, and then you can choose the theme. And you can go ahead and choose this theme. And it's pretty nice, nice and colorful. Uh, it's not really compact though at all uh, because. You know, it makes a bubble for every like thing you say. Uh, so it's not very compact, but I still thought it was really nice and colorful. So pretty cool uh, Skype theme here by Cap C C A P N Goat. I think it's Captain Goat. I'm not sure, but uh, pretty cool uh, theme for Skype. That's it for the look of the week episode 40. I thank you a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.